I have had my back stabbed a few times. What changed my mind to get pregnant? Curfus level where it's just about the numbers and if I'm gonna call a speed a speed. Can't live life on the edge too much. Where does Jerry work? I've gone out on a limb and said, wow, is it possible for me to hit a million subscribers this year? Hi, hello, welcome to today's video. I think in today's video, if you're new to my channel, you're really going to get to know me. And if you are not new to this channel, you will get a major life update of sorts. I posted an Ask Me Anything a little over a week ago on my Instagram as well as over here on YouTube. And I'm going to be answering pretty much everything from what you asked me. So let's really not make this intro long because there's going to be so much of me talking about me in this video. Let's dive right into it. I did consider filming this video while like doing my makeup or while doing something else at the same time but then I realized that it had been so long since I filmed my last Ask Me Anything that I wanted to just do it in a dedicated fashion. Um, so I'm literally just going to be talking to you guys, chilling, hanging. I don't even have chai next to me. I just have a whole lot of water next to me so hydrate along with me as we go. The first and the most asked question really honestly, almost most asked question, second most asked question uh, is asking me about my health, asking me about how I've been, how I'm feeling mentally, physically, emotionally and I want to kick off with saying thank you for checking in on me. Um, last year my health was down in the dumps I had my miscarriage on 12th of Feb last year I had my surgery on 14th of Feb last year and I think last year I rested a lot of things out I thought I was done with that period but then this year the year started with me choosing to have my LASIK surgery on 3rd of January after which I had a terrible bout of a UTI and uh, then I got a really really bad flu as well so I feel like the year started out also for me again this year with a lot of voluntary and involuntary rest period um, I think the one thing I'm realizing is that I don't take as much care of my physical self as I do of my mental emotional uh, self I think that I need to get regular with my exercises I have gotten better at my eating habits I will say I've become more conscious of what I'm eating I've become uh, more regular with my vegetable juice intakes and my fruits and things like that but when it comes to physical activity and just taking care of myself I'm on um, I'm definitely looking for excuses to procrastinate if I'm gonna call a spade a spade and I've told myself that slowly but steadily I need to get into um, making it a part of my life so thank you for asking and I'm doing so-so I'm doing fine-ish um, I have good days and bad days like right now um, I've had a migraine yesterday and I can still feel it over here looming over my head today but I'm powering through it because I don't want to keep giving in to this either. I fi I'm trying to find the balance between resting when I'm feeling unwellish and powering through and fighting it through. Today um, I really felt like being chatty and talking and which is why I've picked this video to film today and I was actually supposed to film this last week but then the, the, the you know the flu happened and so here I am. Um, I do have an event and a meeting to go to later today and uh, I know that if I give in and if I tell myself to rest I'm gonna lose out on some amount of um, not work because technically it's not like a paid association or anything but just making certain relationships that I, I believe in investing in. So here I am. <laughs> that was a long answer lots of long answers coming your way um, what is on my vision board for 2024 what's on my list and on my goals for 2024 a lot of those questions as well I can't believe how quickly this year is going by today in present day it is the 6th of March 2024 honestly speaking like I said, I think my vision board for 2024 and I have like six vision boards so it's like one big vision board because one is like work related, one is like personal related, one is health, it's just I, I have them and I have them right here with me in my bedroom actually, printouts and everything. I think my, my, my vision board for 2024 is just being able to 
do better than I did last year. I always feel like competing with anybody else is pointless because there will always be someone better somewhere. Um, I feel like I want to just do better than I did last year. I want to be able to be more regular. I am quite regular on YouTube, but I want to do better content on YouTube. I want to step out of my comfort zone over here on YouTube. I've gone out on a limb and said, wow, is it possible for me to hit a million subscribers this year, which is basically saying I want to three times up my subscriber base in like 10 months, which logically I'm like that's not possible but then you know what anything's possible on the internet kuch bhi kabhi bhi viral ho ke pata nahi kya ho sakta hai so main badi optimistic hu and so I, I, I like, I'd like to say my vision board has a lot of me being optimistic it has a mix of health it has a mix of work it has a mix of lots of family time uh, you may have noticed already in this year I've gone away for two different long weekends I want to try and do more of that because I feel like we all end up waiting for the big summer plans um, um, or the big Diwali holidays and I feel like I want to snatch my pockets of joy whenever I can mm. um, so that's where my mental state is, uh, is at before we go into the next question I'm gonna hydrate aap bhi pani piyo, pani piyo, mere saath mein pani piyo, sab milke Mm. My grains also come because of um, lack of hydration, which is what I've recently read about, but I drink quite a bit of water. I drink maybe a bottle, bottle and a half a day. You can see it is 3 p.m. and I'm already here. I'm supposed to be here by... Oh, I'm supposed to be here by 3 p.m. Oops, so I'm behind. I thought I was doing okay there. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna drink some more in some time. What changed your mind about getting pregnant? Oof, okay, we're going there. Um, I'm also planning a baby. Doctor suggested for IVF. What do you think? Please check if you're comfortable talking about all of these things. Do you plan to adopt a child? Any baby names? Basically, lots of pregnancy and baby related questions here. And I get it. I'm not going to say you're invading into my private space because in terms of conversation and as long as it's happening in a healthy, respectful fashion, I'm here for it. I opened the doors to this topic when I opened up about my miscarriage and when I said I want to live an open life. I want to live the life of an open book. That's something that I'm here for. Um, what changed my mind to get pregnant because I didn't want to have a biological baby up until a point I'll tell you what happened and I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before so here goes in December 2021 um, my period was very 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 late like very late my uterus typically works like a german train you know schedule it works on time i know exactly when my period is going to come so at this particular point of time my period had not shown up on the date and i said okay maybe it's a day late maybe it's two days late maybe it's three days late and next thing you knew i was on day seven where I should have been done with my period and my period still hadn't come and so obviously Jerry and I were like oh my god what if we're pregnant and I um, I took the pregnancy test and the pregnancy the home pregnancy test wasn't really clear at all and like kuch bhi nahi aaya tha it, or something like that had happened and then I had taken a blood test because I said that's the safest most foolproof way of knowing what's happening and I remember, you know, because you take the blood test in the morning and, and the blood test report doesn't come till like evening seven-ish, right? I kept like waiting with bated breath all day. What is it going to be? What is it going to be? What if I am pregnant? I went from being hysterical to panicked, both of us. And I remember Jerry and my face when the report actually came and it said negative. And I don't know why. I was sad. I was like, oh, I was kind of expecting for it to be positive and be happy about it <laughs> like you know what I mean and then Jerry was okay too and I realized that even though both of us didn't want to be pregnant we were sadish when we weren't at that point of time and that's really truly what changed our minds that's really truly when the conversation began and we were like wait we were happy about this like were we secretly gonna be like what what was it so then we had this big long talk and we realized you know what we want to have our own um biological baby do we still want to adopt a child someday sure that's definitely something i think very highly of i won't say yes or no is this something i'm open to yes for sure um but let's see where life takes us that's the road i'm on right now any baby names thought there were lots of names thought last year when we did get pregnant um i mean if i hadn't had the miscarriage my baby would have been about um five months old now so that's something to think about but um
let's move on to the next question, please. What does Jerry do, I mean, professionally apart from Verified Managing? And um, where does Jerry work? Jerry always says coming from the warehouse. What exactly does he do? Okay, so lots of questions about what does Jerry do? Jerry completed about 20, 21 years in the advertising space in 2019. And on 14th of August, 2019, just in time for Republic Day, uh, 15th of August, I literally wished him happy Independence Day because he was officially done with his advertising career. He decided to quit advertising because he felt like he had given it over two decades of his life at that point. And he saw that I was in the process of, I mean, I've always consulted with brands in general, which of course he's always part of when I'm working on those projects. But he also saw me um, trying to find the balance between being a content creator and then working on Verified, which is a really tough job to try and manage being a full-time content creator plus launching your own brand, right? So, um, and also around that time Jerry wanted to work on his uh, fiction book he's a writer inherently and uh, he has one chapter written of this book and I keep telling him go back to it go back to it and it's something he really should do but something that he's currently I, I don't think as interested in anymore so um, he said he would kind of switch gears join me work on his book and then we'd kind of just take life one day one year at a time and so Jerry in present day while he is somewhere in the process of writing his fiction uh, book, his novel, whatever you want to call it, he takes care of everything Verified on a daily basis. So while I am founder and CEO of Verified, Gerard operates as COO of Verified, which is Chief Operating Officer. And any orders that go out, customer service that needs to be looked into, third party platforms that need to be dealt with, um, all of that goes under his scope of work. Whereas I look into working on new products, our marketing calendar, our social media, taking care of our PR, anything to do with money I handle. Um, and you know, like, so we distribute things. and. Thodi kid kid pit pit hoti thi start mein ki who will handle what and a little bit of overlapping of opinions but then we've realized that these are the things that you have a final say on and these are the things that I have a final say on and we will help each other and encourage each other and be supportive towards each other but in these spaces it mine is the final call and his is the final call. So if, uh, if there are verified orders that are reaching you, you know, quickly, which I know they are, those are the most common DMs I get in terms of compliments of the brand from you guys on Instagram, um, you have Jerry to thank for that. He makes sure everything is streamlined, takes care of our... So our office come warehouse is one unit by itself, which is very close to our house. And so he works from there Mondays to Saturdays. And that is a separate team that he has over there. How did you choose Jerry to be your man? How did you go about deciding and finding him? Uh, Google search for the jacket, I didn't find him. We met through work. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and leave a very interesting Ask Chashmaranjan Q&A link down below in the description section. It is the first time ever Jerry properly faced the camera and did a sit down question and answer session with me over here for the channel. And uh, it's from the month or two months-ish just after we got married. So I feel like you should go watch that because a lot of questions relating to our relationship are in that video already. How do you and Jerry manage finances? Like who does what is fixed or is it vary or does it vary? Um, anything to do with finances, 99% of the things I manage, I look into, I spend. Uh, Jerry does draw a salary from Verified on a monthly basis. I do not. Um, and we, I mean, you know, I think that traditionally bola gaya hai, oh, men have to be providers or men have to be the head of the household or men have to uh, you know pay the bills it's not like that in our household is at all Jerry hates numbers hates math hates money doesn't understand money and uh, I on the other hand have been raised to know every rupee and hisab and uh, I don't mind talking about money I'm very comfortable with managing money so in our household organically everything money just came down to me and uh, Jerry looks into things that he's good at and I manage things that I'm good at. It's just kind of gotten split that way. Are you and Jerry religious and how do you manage coming from different cultures? I don't think this has ever been a problem because Jerry, I think it would be a problem if we were both very religious and if our religions didn't align 
in the same way which really is not possible because all religions talk about being a good human being and you know peace and it, it, i feel like fundamentally every religion teaches you that i think that jerry is not very religious and i am i consider myself medium level religious also even though i am medium level religious i truly do not care even if he was zero level religious which he is um so i feel like we're both very uh, we're not the kind of people where we need to do everything together or be at the same level of everything like I, we're so different in our regular personalities our core values and fundas of life are definitely the same our moral compasses and you know are definitely pointing in the same direction even to the same degree but i think when it comes to just generally uh, things like everyday things or religion we're not on the same pages and we're so okay with that because i do what i want to do and leave him to do what he wants to do and vice versa um yeah so it really isn't as at all bothersome then one would think how did i start youtube and how did i get serious about it or did it just happen so i actually have mentioned this a few times before youtube happened very late into my career as a creator i became i mean i started a, being a content creator in december 2011 and while i was on youtube within the first year it wasn't on this channel i used to work as talent with other youtube mcns and channels and do videos for their channels so like for example i launched fashion tube in india i launched style files in india i then moved on to channels with my name in them um i think that somewhere the mcns that i was working with benefited from me not fully knowing how youtube operates and they benefited in just giving me a fee per video and not really having me fully understand how i can own the channel and be the person that i am today um and so i actually got on youtube myself properly consistently in 2017 about 7 years after um i was already a creator i would post videos here and there on my channel not to you know frequently barely really uh, because i was so busy doing videos for their channels and then blog posts and instagram and all of that so 2017 is when I really properly started YouTube on my channel on my own um because with the with the MCNs that I used to be part of multi channel networks I'm sorry I should have said the full form of MCNs sooner with the MCNs I used to give the idea and come and shoot and go and then they would do the back end and the editing and the uploading and whatever money they would make out of the channel uh, out of the videos would be theirs to keep I would have no share in it I would just get paid a flat fee per video um yeah So I feel like there's that the I was definitely late into the game but I've been very very serious and consistent with YouTube ever since I got on it in 2017 I used to post five videos a week for a solid 2 to 2 and a half years now I post three videos a week and if I happen to miss even one of them ever or even if I happen to miss the day I wanted to post on I get quite irritated because I'm a creature of habit like that and uh, I love YouTube it is my favorite favorite social media platform question of the day what is your favorite social media platform leave this emoji down below along with the name of the platform of course when's the next food related video coming you love my food related videos in the diet swap video with quirky you like the healthy food i might try it more i said am i doing it more am i trying it more and can i make more food videos um and that you love my real and raw vlogs i am trying to do more food videos there are some that i'm already in the process of working on and then there's some that you'll see with time however ramzan is just around the corner i don't know how i'm going to manage that because i've shot some and then it'll have to wait i'm figuring logistics out at my end but yes I love the food videos too. Hi Anna, you're posting regularly on YouTube. How do you manage all of this being CEO? Any plan? Da, 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 da. Basically lots of how am I managing multitasking and how do I keep up with content? And thank you that you love my real personality. Okay, it's a mishmash of a lot of different things over here. How do I manage things? I honestly just live life calendar to calendar like on my schedule. Um I feel like I'm one of those people who's very very disciplined and i feel very grateful to have 
the family and upbringing and school system that really set that you know in my head very early on in my life i'm very very disciplined because i am a creature of habit and um i think that got set very early on like i said and so i love being organized i can't live life on the edge too much which is a good thing and a good thing and a bad thing cuz sometimes i see my friends or people i know being super spontaneous and sometimes i can be spontaneous it's not like that it's not that i can't but inherently i'm just a very let's be organized kind of a person so yeah that's how i manage to do everything that i do i am a content creator i am a brand founder and ceo and i work as a consultant with so many brands so there's a lot i get done purely because i am very very organized this is an interesting question can you talk about creator friendships and do all of them maintain their friendships irrespective of numbers and are all of them real or for the camera um i think creator friendships much like any other industry or work friends really can be of different types there are people that you just get along with there are people that you really warm up to there are people that become part of your friends even beyond being creators um and then there are people that yeah unfortunately do work on a very surface level where it's just about the numbers and you know you're just being cordial to each other because you must be civil and nice i think it takes all types you know to make the world i'm really fortunate to have some amazing women in my life through my uh, you know creator journey and i've been able to call them friends and i hold them very close to my heart but i have had my i was going to say i have had my fair share of other experiences i have had my backstabbed a few times and i think you live and you learn um i think that it is important to understand that not everybody is out there to genuinely be your friend that if you uh, with a lot of people sometimes um uh, numbers up and down definitely first you may have lesser than them then you may have more than them the way you behave with people or the way you treat people irrespective of all of this just goes to show the kind of person you are on the inside um i think that i think that it's very important to maintain humility no matter where you are and majority of my experiences have definitely been nice ones so i don't want to let the few bitter ones give you the impression that everyone's like that everyone is not like that um having said that like i was where i was going with this was that you have to understand that it just takes all types to make the world sometimes you may become closer to someone because you're all on a common trip or a common project or a common assignment common campaign um it's like working at the same company for a certain period of time and then you may move on to a different company you still keep in touch with whoever you can whenever you can but it's just that circumstances don't keep you as close anymore i think the only difference really with the creator space is because we're all out there to be public personalities there's a lot more ego that comes into the picture unfortunately and so you live and you learn like i said um i don't think at least in my life i have any friendships just for the camera i think that i have some great camaraderies with friends and again lots of female friendships that i've made where we really get each other it doesn't mean we hang out with each other once a week or i can't do the fake i love you baby kind of friendships it is not for me people that i am fond of i am truly truly fond of it's like that that's just who i am as a person i can't i can't fake it i don't know how to fake it um and that is both a good thing for me personally but a terrible thing for me professionally because i see a lot of that going around and that's where i lose out on a lot of possible um not i don't want to say friendships because friendships can't true friendships can't come from that i just feel like a lot of people do that in any kind of media entertainment public space i'm just not cut out for that not to say that i'm right and they're wrong cuz i think everyone just does what what is part of the process and everyone's processes are different so i don't want to sound like i'm better than them or i'm judging them i swear i'm not it's just that i think everyone has different priorities my simple two cents is that i've seen a lot of people behave with me differently because i can only speak from my experience based on where their creator journey is and that's kind of sad because i feel it's very important to stay true to who you are and stay grounded no matter what that's something i hold very uh, like how you treat people and how you behave with people uh, more than less than is something is a filter that i i do observe with a lot of people um you know i just think that it's a very very important quality and personality trait to be able to treat everyone with dignity and respect no matter what so things like making sure you reply to people's messages as small and petty and silly as it might sound um i think you have to do that for everyone out of common courtesy no matter 
where you are like you know what i mean um or things like you have to be able to just to give people respect in whatever way or form it's just really really important sometimes it's about how you're saying things and not necessarily about what you're saying which is another thing that i think gets in the way ego gets in the way of a lot of things in any media and entertainment space so uh, you live and you learn and i think that a lot of people who who are in the space also live and learn their in their own way and in their own process and with time um and with experience and uh, i don't think i just don't believe in the concept of are all of them real or for the camera i don't think anything can ever be for the camera cuz then you can't fake it for too long you know what i mean a uh, couple of inquiries but are there any openings for jobs on my end unfortunately i am not hiring right now at all my team is at capacity and uh, i really appreciate it there is an email id that i'm going to leave on the screen right now you can go ahead and drop your cv in an email there keep it formal keep it nice drop a cover letter so when and if i am hiring next that is the email id we go to and search through the database to potentially hire candidates lots of people asking about where i'm traveling to next and things like that i do have a few countries on my bucket list for this year like for example northern lights has been on my bucket list for a really long time jerry hasn't been to switzerland and he really wants to see switzerland uh my best friend and my mother's best friend both live in uh dubai and jerry hasn't been to dubai he's been telling me for the past 2 years to take him to dubai so i probably want to do dubai at some point this year as well um yeah so there's a few different places on my bucket list but honestly we have made no plans whatsoever uh because we wanted to do a big family trip together but the kids both go to separate schools now since this year and so figuring out when they have summer breaks when i'm saying kids i'm talking about my nephew and niece so we just lots of logistics to figure out and um yeah just got to work also to be able to pay for these trips um I feel like I've answered a lot of questions in today's video. I still seem to have a lot more left, but these are more in lines of like beauty and routines and things like that. Go ahead and let me know down below in the comments if you want me to do an AMA with you like this at least once a month so they don't build up and collect and pile up like this. Um I do hope you have enjoyed this video. You know I'm always reading, liking, hearting and responding to each and every one of your comments. So I really hope you keep them coming. I am going to see you in the next video and uh, don't forget to go hydrate. after talking so much in this video and i will see you in the next one i love you so much bye don't forget to subscribe before you go